Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to sideload paid games but for free on the Oculus Quest 2. So your first step is going to want um, to enable Oculus Developer Mode. So what you're going to want to do is go to this website right here and click select an organization, click create. Enter any name here, so I'm just going to, there we go. I understand and submit read all this if you want to but almost no one read this so just click I agree and submit and there you go you just enable developer mode on your computer but then you're gonna want to restart your oculus so I'll see you on my oculus I also forgot to mention that you're gonna need to go on your phone so I'll record my phone screen now all right so I had, seem to have problems on the mobile part but all you're gonna want to do is go to your oculus app and go to devices and click on developer mode and the little on and off thing should be set to off so you're gonna want to turn that on all right so this is the part where we're gonna download FFAIO it's what we're gonna use to sideload our paid games so you're gonna want to go to this reddit page right here link will be in description just like the oculus developer mode part so from here you're going to want to scroll down until you see the mirror links from there click mirror 6 to 12 from here it should pop up, pop up something that would say if you have a vpn just click you already have one and then from there click on this link the middle one it'll take you to this website and just click scan and continue and let this finish and continue the link you should pop up in this website right here click the X and click download this should pop up and just click here to download the file click save and just wait for it to download I'll be back when it's done alright everyone I am back and the download just finished and this is what you should be getting and once you have this application all you're gonna wanna do is just double click it and wait for it to load so let's give it a minute This should pop up click more info and just click run anyway a little thing that should pop up is when it says yes or no if you let it run on your PC or your laptop just click yes and then from here just click I accept the agreement next and put it where you want to put it I'll just leave it on by default next and down here just click optional if you don't have the oculus drivers Make sure your quest is connected before this. And then if you do have a different antivirus or you only have Windows Defender, just leave this normally. Or if you have a different one, click I use a different antivirus slash anti-malware program. From here, click next. I already have the Oculus driver, so I don't need to select that. Then create desktop shortcuts for FFAE apps. Click next click install this should pop up and I'll just wait for it to finish let this download and I'll be back when it's done alright it is about near done it's been about a 30 seconds these should pop up and just click finish 
Down from here, you're just gonna want to double click the loader icon. Make sure you have quest your quest two plugged in or quest. It doesn't matter. I'll be back when my quest is all plugged in and ready. Also, make sure to enable the option to be able to see your files on your PC. From here, just plug in your Oculus. So give me a moment to do that. This should pop up. So from here, just click allow. Then on your Oculus, if you go to settings, you should have a developer option there now. So you got to disable your guardian. And then over here, this is where our apps are going to be or our games. So for now, I'll go back to my PC and show you what to do from here. From here, make sure your Quest is still plugged in and it's on. Don't power it off completely. Just press the power button once. Then double click the loader icon. And then this should pop up. Wait for it to load completely. I'll be back when it's fully loaded again. From here, if you've done everything correctly, your quest ID should pop up right here, the same one as in your phone. It's still loading, so I'll be back. Alright, I am back, and all the games have loaded. So from here, I'm just going to show an example of a game that you guys might want. So I'll just keep scrolling until I find the game I like and or would like to download. Alright, let's say I want Fruit Ninja. Where did it go? Alright, let's say I want Fruit Ninja VR. From here, you're just going to double click it and it should pop up over here and then it should be downloading the game it's only gonna take about a minute so I'll be back when it's done alright you guys I am back this page should pop up whenever you're done downloading your game it should say output performing streamed install success Click OK, and once you've downloaded all the games you wanted to, hit the X button, and I'll see you on the Oculus so I can show you the game. Alright guys, and then here's the final step. Just click on Apps, top right, go down to Unknown Sources, and I just launched the game on accident. Alright, let's just quit it. Let's do that again. So here it is, Fruit Ninja. Sometimes it'll just pop up with the name, sometimes it'll just come out like that. And then here it is, Fruit Ninja itself in all its glory. So, as you can see, we have successfully downloaded a game it's by side loading it. And multiplayer works too. Let me show you an example of that. If I just go over here, let me see a game that I have that is multiplayer. Um, zero caliber. So I'll just show you that you can walk up to the squad selection thing. And they can actually play multiplayer as long as the version is the same on the loader app the apps will that you have downloaded will turn red if it needs an update and blue if it's in the same day so here it is it's your caliber as you can see it runs just fine it works and from here squad operations it's going to search for available service and boom multiplayer works so i hope you guys really enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys on the next one
Goodbye.